welcome to this tutorial about the three-phase VF converter. When the LVDAC is fully opened, click on this button to start the Chopper Inverter Control application. Then, under Function Selection, select Three-Phase VF Inverter and go under Function Setting to have a look at every customizable feature of this function. Switching Frequency can only be changed here by tapping the value you want. Direction of Rotation. This setting gives you the possibility to change the direction of the rotating field generated by the inverter. You can choose Forward, Reverse, or both. Frequency. This setting adjusts the output voltage frequency. It can go from 0 to 120 Hz in Forward and Reverse, and from negative 120 Hz to 120 Hz if you choose the Forward Reverse option here. Knee peak voltage percentage of DC bus sets the knee's max voltage amplitude. Knee frequency sets the knee's max frequency. Acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q1 to Q6, the switching transistors. As you see, in this function, all transistors are used. You can select for each one PWM or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. There is only one knob here to adjust the frequency of the output voltage. And finally, the start-stop button to control the function. As usual, here is an electrical diagram of the function with a show connection button to help you connect your hardware equipment. This function is also known as the volts per hertz drive it is in fact the same function as the three-phase PWM inverter, except that this one automatically controls the volts per hertz ratio to maintain a constant flux in an induction motor. The user of this volts per hertz drive only needs to apply his settings and start the application. Then, he can control the speed of the induction motor without worrying about the output phase voltage, magnitude, and frequency. For this demonstration, I will use as a load for this inverter an induction motor connected to a four-quadrant dynamometer, model 8960. The 8960 can be controlled by a computer and will show you every parameter of the machine under test here, in this case, the induction motor. This application of LVDAC is only accessible with an 8960 and is thus not covered in this user guide about the 9063. When your equipment is correctly connected, set the desired value of the knee voltage and frequency, and start the function. As you see, if I increase the frequency, the motor starts turning clockwise. The application automatically sets the output voltage so that my induction motor easily starts turning. If I decrease the frequency, the speed decreases slowly to zero. And if I continue decreasing the frequency below zero, the motor starts turning in the counterclockwise direction. This means I can go from clockwise to counterclockwise, over 2000 RPM on each side, without changing any connections. Have fun doing some tests with this function, and try different settings to see the results. <laughs>